Louis, Matt Vaskersian here. Hey, congratulations on Rookie of the Month, man. You're you're uh, you're rolling. Way to go. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Are you in there tonight? I mean, uh, we don't have access to a lineup tonight, but how do you keep the NL Rookie of the Month out of a lineup with a right-handed opponent on the mound? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm in there. I think I'm batting seventh uh, playing right field. So, uh, yeah, the, the shin's feeling better from the other day and, and can't wait to be back out there. You know, your, your National League Rookie of the Month award so well deserved, but it's an unusual one considering you spent some time at AAA. So they send you down, call you back up. You didn't even play in the big leagues the entire month. Tell us about your May from your perspective. Um. Man, it was just such a great month. Um, uh, enjoyable, um, fun, just uh, full of uh, great emotions, and you know, a lot of a lot of family that's that just been reaching out to me in their house, saying how proud they are. So it's been a great month. Um, I love to come out here every day, and um, and yeah, just play play the game that I love in front of all these awesome fans and these amazing ballparks and traveling all to all these cities man it's been it's been a blast all right let's talk about that family that you mentioned we're assuming a lot of them are in the desert you're uh, you're a guy that grew up in Arizona are they all Diamondbacks fans and are they okay rooting against the D-backs when you take them on 18 times a year <laughs> yeah no we don't have that many uh, D-back fans actually so so that's good um now everyone's becoming a giant fan back at home. Uh, like you said, uh, being from Arizona, it's it's nice to have uh, the family that's kind of close by. You know, I got a lot of friends in in California and in Los, Los Angeles, San Diego. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, it's gonna be easier for them to come see me play rather than being all the way in Chicago like I was last year. Well, so since we're talking to a left-handed hitter named Luis Gonzalez, and we just mentioned the Arizona Diamondbacks, I mean, you know where I'm going here, Louie. Like, the comparisons to uh, the 2001 World Series hero are replete. Uh, do you ever get asked if you're related to this Luis Gonzalez? Do you ever get mistaken somehow uh, generationally for this Luis Gonzalez? Uh, yeah, I got it all the time when I was little. Uh, you know, being from uh, growing up, growing up in Tucson, Arizona, and having the name and just playing ball, everyone thought I was his son. And uh, yeah, everyone just would come up to me and like, "Hey, is Luis Gonzalez your father?" And I think I was telling another reporter, uh, uh, you know, a couple a couple of weeks ago, I was just like, I just started going along with it at that point because my dad is <laughs> Luis Gonzalez and. And it's not the Luis Gonzalez, but yeah, that's my father's name, Luis Gonzalez. So I got it so much. I was just like, you know what? I, that, that is my father. <laughs> Good for you. Still accurate by your definition. Hey, so I want to ask you this yeah. too, Louis, because you're listed on baseball reference as an outfielder slash pitcher. And I know you pitched at New Mexico collegiately. And I know that you've gotten into a couple of games here for the Giants on the mound. You're much more than a position guy who's an emergency pitcher. It, it looks like you have a pretty good idea what you're doing. And this EFAS pitch is unbelievable. Did you throw a curveball 33 miles an hour this year? Am I right about that? Uh, no, I have not uh, showcased my curveball just yet. Um, it's only been that slow floater and the EFIS or whatever you want to call it and and you know I try to hum one in there at uh, the upper 80s. <laughs> so do you still have to do work as a pitcher or is this just you know you're the emergency guy still even though you know what you're doing do you do any work as a pitcher before games? No 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 extra work as a pitcher so so that's good I'll, I'll take that and I don't have to run the run the poles like they do and do all that running so I lucked out on that one um, I told uh, Andrew Bailey that uh, to if I if he needs me to throw any bullpens but he says he says I'm good so you know just uh, just go out there next time and try to get some outs that's it all right very good let's uh, let's hit you with some hot plate questions we talk a little food on this show you were born in Mexico went to college in New Mexico grew up in Arizona where is there the best Mexican food for Luis Gonzalez? In Arizona? Arizona, Mexico, or New Mexico? Um, I'm going to have to shout out my mom and just say mom's cooking. Um, there's nothing There's nothing like that. Um, she makes some great Mexican food, and 
Um, she's got some good recipes, so um, I can't wait to go back home and get some home cooking from her. What's mom's best dish? Probably just some carne asada tacos. Uh, uh, yeah, she makes some really good salsa, um, some quesadillas. Um, she, she makes a lot of it, so uh, milanesas, I mean, She's, she's got a lot of good dishes. Dude, it sounds excellent. With the accent, it sounds even more delicious, by the way. That's well played. Uh, <laughs> give me the biggest spread crusher in the Giants clubhouse. Who gets after the spread the hardest? <laughs> um, shoot. I don't know if I should be throwing anyone under the bus here. Um, I think I saw Mauricio Llovera eat like eight pieces of pizza one time after a game, and I was just <laughs> like, dude. Come on, man. Impressive. <laughs> like, you're gonna really, but, but no, that was just a one-time thing, and I just had to give him, um, I had to joke around with him a little bit for eating that much pizza. <laughs> hey, Louis, we appreciate the time, man. Congratulations on Rookie of the Month for May. Congratulations on the great start to the season. Good luck against Herman Marquez and the Rockies tonight, and uh, we'll check in with you later on this year. I appreciate it. Look forward to being back on here.